Recording. Finally. Hello. Uh, so... Oh, jeez. Um, we're going to continue with more Chris Tales, where we are looking for the cure to the disease glass lung, which is what happens when you inhale glass. Look, I didn't name it. Um, we found the research notes we were sent to find at the old forge that's been shut down. We met the witness robot lady who apparently made all of our weapons and doesn't think any of us are worthy of them and called us all thieves. So that was fun. Uh, we had to fight her. She's fine. Um, never mind that we're working with a witness. Apparently none of them remember anything. Uh, so yeah, we need to do all that, but I spent some time just grinding some levels, uh, in between the last stream and now so that I could get enough money to upgrade everybody's equipment all the way. And also to just, you know, sort of push that down the line so we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, so fights will probably be a little bit easier, you know, unless they're a puzzle, at which point we have to solve the puzzle still. But, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're not gonna spend a lot of time worrying about that. As you can see, I basically spent four hours just uh, running up and down the elevator at the forge because it allowed us to just trigger a fight every time we activated the elevator. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, it probably wasn't four hours. It was probably only two hours because then remove the last stream we did from that previous save file. Anyway, uh, so took the time to buy everybody new equipment uh, and get an extra signet of wealth so we get even more money. As you can see, we've still got 40 grand of marbles um, and then upgraded everyone's weapons uh, and just bought everybody a piercing keychain for now so that we'll put on the status effect stuff when that becomes relevant all right so uh let's hit the in because apparently i didn't do that Welcome. before saving it's only that would be great. get that over with and then oh boy that background noise is a little much The heat is a great way to start off the day. Rise and shine, travelers. Oh boy. Come on. All right, so we need to go hand over. And we've done the one side quest that we've found so far. Go in here, hand over the thing, and maybe the Volcano Sisters won't murder us. Sister, they're back. Hi, Galley. I guess that means I don't get to kill this one. Yet. Cool, you're an awful person. Good to know. Oh, good. She's there in the future. What did you find? We found this journal. It has Zero's research notes. Miss Arola, this is... I can't believe it! It's been years since I've seen this. It's a bit tattered around the edges, but I'm sure there will be something useful here. Just give me some time. That wasn't in the rules! Time to play! Patience, sister. We will have them as our guests for one more night. And only one more night.
Yes, darling? Tell me about Cinder and Sinisa. Sinisa was once the capital, until it was destroyed in the revolution. During the revolution, the royal family was deposed, and Azufra was installed as the new ruler. So you traded monarchy for despotism. Got it. We've been through a lot over the years. Civil distress, poverty, and even a plague. But we never once lost faith. Cool. Yes, darling? Who are the sisters? Volcano and Galley are two of the three princesses of Cinder. Wait, did you say there are three princesses? Indeed. The youngest sister, Lava, disappeared during the revolution. Now it's just the two of them. They have gone astray for far too long. I believe they have good intentions. They want to save the people of Cinder. Uh-huh. But they have gone too far. I mean, Galley does not appear to have good intentions. She just wants to murder everyone she meets. I pray they are able to find their way back onto the righteous path. Yes, darling? Is there a cathedral in Cinder? Of course. Though it has been many years since anyone was able to enter it. It lies atop the Millennium Rock. The path to it is a closely guarded secret. Oh. Oh, one of the insects wants to talk. Why are you following the Empress? She gave us a way to fight back. To help our city. Was saving all of Cinder part of your plan? Of course not. Why would it be? But the Empress, she understood. She would do anything, anything to achieve her goals. Why should we be any different? Well, um... <clears throat> there must have been a way that didn't involve all this sacrifice. <sighs> you sound like my sister. I wanted to take you for a pet when I met you in Nareem. I still might. How about I stab you with my time oh, sword? One of the insects wants to... Why are you helping the people of Cinder? Stupid human. Our people. Our home. There's nothing more you need to know. What do you want, Time Mage? Why are you following the Empress? If the only other choice were to let the people you care about, your friends, your family, die, wouldn't you do whatever you could to save them? No matter the cost? I suppose if that were the only... Justify it however you want, girl. Whatever lets you sleep at night. In the end, we do whatever we have to do. That's what matters. Try... Uh-huh, I, I... What do you want, Time? Why are you helping the people of Cinder? Stupid girl. What's your excuse? Fame? Glory? Why do you help complete strangers? Well, because they need someone to help them, and I have the power to do it. A very mature answer, for a kid. Seems like you've answered your own question then. We're not so different, you and I. We both do what we believe is right. You uh, engaged in murder of a bunch of innocent people. And you're being used because you're an idiot. Hmm. All right. Miss Arola? Oh, you're one of those kids. I'm sorry, but could you let me work? Is there anything I could do to help you? Just let me work. There's nothing you can do but give me some peace. Being near those two just gives me anxiety. I want this to be over as soon as possible. The exit is locked. Okay, who do I talk to to stay the night then? What do you want, Time Mage? What? Bell. Want to rest until the sure. 
<sighs> that was a long night. Interesting. I suppose <clears throat> we'll have to try it out. Thank you, Volcano. I knew if we just worked together. Settle down, girl. Let's not start braiding each other's hair quite yet. It's a trick, sister. They're playing their own game. Perhaps. That's why we'll test the medicine on their friend. If he dies, they all die. If he lives, we'll discuss our options. Yeah, okay, bye. So far across town. Oh, <laughs> I don't like the fact that he's not there. Where did uh, Scary Nightman go? Is he up here? Can I kick you in the kidney real quick? Just asking. We found it. We found the cure. Let's give it to Christopher quickly. It's just a prototype, but I think it'll work. Look, he's fine. What what happened? You almost died. I mean, you were mostly dead, like 80%, maybe 85%. But you're not! Dead, I mean. So, you're not dead! Uh, for now, I mean. I guess you will be eventually, and probably in some really horrible way from what I've seen. Ugh. But still! Yay for you! Christopher, you're okay! You have no idea how relieved we all are! It's good to see you back in shape. Christopher, I was more than 50% confident in your recovery. Almost 51%, in fact. However, your mentor appeared highly concerned for your safety. My mentor? Wait. You mean... Enough! K's sensors are obviously malfunctioning due to the commotion. It's obvious he doesn't. Incorrect. I have perfect recollection of the... Commotion! Which led to your obvious and unfortunate malfunction. No time to discuss it. We should leave immediately. What's the rush, maestro? What? No! Enough, you two. We've got to get back to Volcano and Galley and tell them the cure was a success. Let's go. Wait, wait, what? Wait, we're friends with them now? How long have I been out? It's a long story. We'll explain it to you later. Will we? <sighs> Can I leave? <laughs> Suckers. You get nothing. Apparently, those seven levels really matter. <laughs> Welcome. 
Welcome, welcome. Not what I wanted to do. Welcome, welcome. I think I already fully upgraded their weapons. I did. Can we sell what's worth selling here? attack, 20 speed, 20 attack and 20 defense. Two more pairs of boots. I need another 18,000 gold. Boo. All right, let's uh, run around and see if we can pick up another mission real quick. Before we actually carry on. It was a little hard. Actually, no, they wouldn't have taken me straight there, I don't think. Hmm. Awkward. Let's do a quick little lookup of something. Go talk to the princesses, actually. Get in here. Do I want to swap you out? Seems like it's probably a mistake, but here we are. Actually, it, it definitely is a mistake. For now, let's stay with the party that is all leveled up and fully kitted out. Let's go. We can talk about it later. Yeah, go away. Oh, you were supposed to be the ones that saved everyone, except that all you were doing was in fact hurting them? Hey, okay. that was weird. So, what now? Well, we did promise Azufra we'd give him the medicine once it was completed. Guess we have to go and see Azufra now. 
Aha. All these years of hard work have finally paid off. Thank you, Chris Pellon Company. Uh, I can finally rest for a while. Miss Arola, are you okay? Yes, Chris Bell. It's just... What is it? How can I help you? Considering what we know of the situation in Cinder and Sinesa, there is a high chance she wishes to help the Cinderians who remain sick. We like helping, although it sometimes leads to almost dying. But not always. Let us help, Arola. Your friend is right. I've been working on some additional doses of the cure, but I don't have any good way to distribute them. We can take care of that for you, Miss Arola. We've gotten pretty good at this sort of thing. Really? Thank you so much, Chris Bell. Here it is. I couldn't make much, so please try to make the most of these. Oh, we will. You can be sure of it. We've got this. It's what heroes do. Okay. Let's look at the quest log real quick. everyone now we just need to find all the six Sindarians. oh no jelly is gonna kill us should we run then she'll kill us for abandon we're do yeah Wasting my time listening to a child who claims to see the future. Go away! Don't I have enough to deal with? But it's true! I'm a time mage! I promise, if you'll just try this new medicine... A time mage? <laughs> and I'm a dragon. As if I would ever trust the word of a human. Nice guy. So, what do we do now? Tackle him and force it down his throat? Ask nicely? Pretend we never met him? <gasps> so many options. If he needs proof, we'll give him proof. What do you mean? I believe Wilhelm is suggesting the use of your power. Correct. Oh, wow. I didn't even think of that one. Of course, you are time mages, so maybe I did think of it. But in the future. In the future. And now you're just reminding me of the idea I haven't had yet. I'm awesome. Yes, well, I guess it is my turn to help to the future. I would think a scrap from his clothes would suffice. Perfect. Now Why would that prove anything? You. Sir? These are my clothes. I recognize my mother stitching anywhere. And they're covered in feral goblin ichor. Where did you get this? We're just a group of heroes that help people. You're right, Sass. We got it from the future, mister. Like I said, I'm a time mage. Now do you understand? I don't know. It all seems so impossible. What do I have to lose? I guess I'll try your medicine. Enjoy. Hey, you don't go feral. Isn't that great? It, it's unbelievable. I can breathe again. I'm glad we could help. Thank you, but you can't stop with just me. There are so many more people who need help. Brilliant! You've summed up the painfully obvious state of affairs quite succinctly. Which is to say, yes, we know. Hey, Wilhelm. If you just kept your mouth shut, this conversation would already be over. I'm 
I'm sorry to ask this, but could you talk to Jaru as well? He isn't sick, but his wife... Oh, you knew Kim? You know about his wife? Oh, yeah. She came down with Glass Lung a while ago. Then she took off. Jaru has been super sad ever since. Really sad. Like a... My wife just got a horrible deadly disease and then left, but I don't know why. Sort of sad. Know what I mean? Yes, he was devastated. She didn't want him to see her waste away. Didn't know how to say goodbye, so she left. What a cruel situation. It's wonderful that you have a cure, but it will be hard on poor Jaru. It came too late for his wife. He just watched us cure Christopher. Please give him my condolences. Let him know. Be sure of it. We're heroes, and heroes always help those in need. This might be awkward. Oh well, they happen to me. I don't know what the controls for the left. It was a little hard finding a Let's instead of asking Jaru questions, his sadness can wait while we go, I don't know, cure other people with glass lung? Come on. Come on. There's all these people up here who need to be healed. I was so sick. You're welcome. All right, first person. of energy it is indeed a cure please have this as a token for what you've done Ooh. Ooh. Turn to my family. Please have this as a token. More anti mute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's Jaru's wife. I'm sure. We'll come back to her in due time. Punchy, punchy, punchy. Bye. leads back to the woman out in front of the wall, yeah? Yep, okay. So we go this way. 
talk to these people. Yeah, yeah, please. What is? Yes. I, I, I have to go back to my wife and kids. Auntie Burn, how about you? <coughs> please, a cure. Yes, I. Thank you, Miss. Please. I'm not giving anything to the princesses. They're mean. And honestly, not that helpful. Punchy, punchy, punchy. This guy. I feel pleased. Yes, he. I can't think. Coffee. There we go. More marbles. You don't need anything, right? This is the Nomada were also. I don't see any more sick people. Except for the one who, for some reason, doesn't have a name. That wasn't very much damage at all. I guess I should save. It's I been a half hour.
Oh, the guards are all back. Good, good. Sass, I'm glad you're all doing well. What brings you to my humble doorstep? Something you need? Speaking of which, I've been meaning to ask. Were you able to create more of that medicine? Yes! That's what we came here to talk to you about. Did one of you tell him? Maybe one of you time mages hopped into the future or the past? It's hard to keep these things straight. Come on, you can tell me. Sorry, what? You were able to make more? You have? Yes, and we met one of your friends down in the square. He wanted us to tell you not to be so sad. Because that's something that you tell somebody whose wife maybe is dead from a deadly disease that's been ravaging his community. That this was the first step to making sure no one else has to suffer like you have. Like Kim had to. I see. Thank you, Chris Bell. That means a lot. Wow. Kimber came down with the glass lungs so many years ago. Have you been hanging out with time mages? Because that would explain... Zaz! I still remember the day she left. I wasn't even by her side when she... Well, to make matters worse, I don't even have her ring anymore. She gave it to me, you know. A wedding ring. I wanted to bury it at her grave in the cemetery, but... I lost it somewhere along the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> it must sound pathetic. It's great that you all have a cure. And I can't wait for you to start getting it out to everyone. <sighs> for now, though, I, I just need some time alone. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Quest log. Recover the ring for Jaru. It would mean the world to him. It seems Jaru is deeply troubled by the. No, really? Damage. Come on, Kay. If we were able to retrieve it, perhaps it would alleviate his sadness somewhat. That's a wonderful idea. Interesting. That seems a bit unlike you, Kay. Are you actually learning from our actions? I am attempting to. However, given the seemingly random nature of your actions, it is quite a difficult task. Perfect! Random actions are right in my wheelhouse. Now, let's find that ring and cheer up Jaru. Well, he said he lost the ring in the cemetery. Let's start by looking around there. Perhaps I can be of use again. To the cemetery. Brilliant. Name one story that started with, let's go to the cemetery, and ended with, they lived happily ever after. Hey, Wilhelm, one of them's dead. Shut up. <laughs> I swear, Wilhelm is like the most insensitive, supposed, like, I know what's going on person in existence. I mean, obviously, that's the ring over there. <sighs> this seems to be the back to the present. like I remember it. Oh, my dear Kim, how I miss you. Even to this day, the truth is, it still hurts. I still love her, even after all these years. Okay, dude. Jaru, please. Let us help you. It's the least we could do. Please tell us where she is, and we'll do our best to bring her back. I'm not sure. Please. Okay, dude, so it's a memorial, not a grave? Yeah. Anyway, to Sinisa again.
Shall we make a wreck? Yep, we have accomplished enough. Whole five minutes to do it. Felt like forever. Okay, so we'll run back over to Siniza. Run all the way into the back. Talk to the one woman who's absolutely Kim, still alive and not dead from the super deadly disease that kills people in days. Probably. Are you? Who are you? Where's your? We found. <coughs> I don't. Uh, I'm. S That's not true. You may feel like, and even if you were, he's sorry. If you don't believe us. Also. <gasps> My beloved Kimber. True love. Give her the cure. Start with the cure! Lead with the cure! You're right. But I've heard the cure is difficult to make. And we need a lot of people dedicated. Also, you'll bring true happiness to my friend. And that's something I've wanted to see for a long time. Well, if you say so. It's like a surge of energy all over my body. Can it truly be the cure for the glass lung? Yep, just check me out. I was suffering from it just a while ago. I... I have to go. Well, take it easy. You've just recovered from a deadly disease. We'll take you there. I... Thank you. That's us all good. Teleport? No? Oh my goodness. Jog, 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 fight. Punch, punch, punch. Three hundred and fifteen experience. All right. Nearly there. Shall we make a wreck? I want to record always. Welcome, welcome. All right, what do we got? Now everybody's equipped. Jaw room. We found your wife. We left her in a monster filled ruin. Don't worry about it. I'm sure she's fine. Ah, video game tropes, right? Man, I really wish there was a faster movement option.
Hey, she's here. She's back. I can't believe it. After all these years, I haven't felt happiness in so long. I'm truly in bliss. I hope I can make her as happy as I am. Okay. Miss Kimber, I can't thank you enough for what you've done. I could never repay you. I don't even know your names. You don't need to. Bye. We are Chris Bell, Wilhelm, JKR, Christopher, and, of course, your trusted friend, Zass. I like Zass. And Time Mage is about to save the world. Zass and friends, I'll be sure to remember your names. We're just happy to help. You brought this sad man true happiness. I promise you, my dear Jaru, we are never going to be apart again. It's a promise, my darling. Yeah. It's a promise. And for you, our heroes, it's not much, but please have this. A small token of appreciation from us. Ooh, I do want to hang on to a distortion ring. Well, at least they're happy, even though their house is falling apart. All right. Let's go do this. So, you're back. Did you complete the medicine? We did. Wonderful. My thanks. I can't tell you how long I've been praying for a cure, but... Liar! Murderer! You could have had it years ago if you hadn't killed the man who discovered it. Azufra, look out! Zaz, you've got no right to lecture me. Except that we actually discovered the cure after you'd given up, you useless, evil, whatever. If you want to kill him, you're going to have to go through me. Uh, guards! To me! Quickly! Your guards won't be able to protect you, traitor. Not for long. You'll never be safe. Not while I'm alive. woman is insane. Yeah, Kari always has been a little... off. Of course, she's not wrong about the whole murder thing. What was that? Uh, oh, um, nothing. Well, it seems I owe you all a great debt. Yeah, and you're also a murderer, and... First, you disarmed the bomb in the square. Then, you obtained this medicine. And now, you've saved me yet again. We just want to help all the people in Cinder. I believe you, Chris Bell. I really do. Ah, oh, good. The betrayal. That's what... Guards! Seize them all! We... Yes, sir. Fighting time. Why would you do this? Can we fight? Do you have any idea how important control of this medicine is? As long as I'm the only one with... We've already rest. used it to cure everybody. <laughs> well, you get the idea. You can't do this. Finia, tell him. I... I'm sorry, Christopher. This medicine is the only thing that can save our people. Right, and he's talking about not saving some of them. Even though I appreciate what you've all done for us, we have to consider the bigger picture. The one where you could profit off the suffering of others? What Fenia means is that we can't risk any of you leaving here and sharing this miracle with our adversaries. Please know, what you've done will not be forgotten. The people of Cinder will be grateful for your sacrifice. Ooh, we gonna erase him? Ooh, Time Empress. What did I do? Impressive, girl. I didn't learn to do this until I was much more experienced. Oh boy. You... What's happening? What have you done? 
Oh, silly child. What have I done? Nothing. You, however, have frozen time. It's quite remarkable. And dangerous. Still, I can understand your reasons. He's really quite the handful, isn't he? Azufra, I mean. A true beast of a man. Reminds me a bit of Enzo. You remember dear Enzo, don't you, Crispel? I know what you're trying to do. I've seen a vision of your cataclysm. You're no better than either of them. Now, now, that's just unkind. I'm much better than either of them. In every way, really. Such small minds. Wealth. Power. That's all they craved. They indulged in feeble attempts to buy the love of their precious citizens. Pathetic. I, on the other hand, couldn't care less for the adoration of the idiot masses. Their love. Their admiration. Worthless. Meaningless distractions for sad little minds. Stop it! You're pretending to be above all of this, but I know what you're doing! You're poisoning these people with your medicine to turn them into mindless soldiers for your army. This is all just part of your plot to conquer Crystallis. Oh, Crispel. Dear, sweet, maddeningly stupid Crispel. Still so naive. Do you really understand so little? Even now? You met my servant, Kari Hudo, earlier. Why do you think I sent her there? Use your head, girl. And as for harming the people of Cinder with my medicine, would you prefer I had let them die? Because that's what would have happened to them. No one is happier than I that you found a better cure. But Crispel... I'm shocked that you'd rather these poor people die of glass lung than serve in my army. What? I never said that! You expect me to believe this was all for their own good? We are all just a product of our circumstances, my dear. You're free to believe whatever makes your little heart happy. Well, this has been entertaining. But the Millennium Rock awaits. Farewell. Farewell. What just... No! Bye, Azufra. You dick. Vengeance is mine. Hurry. No. No. Azufra, my love. No. Is he <laughs> dead? Just as you deserved. My work here is done. Hi, Kari. I mean, to be fair, he was a murderous dink. Oh, is it time to fight the volcano? Azufra? Is he dead? <laughs> you killed him. You killed Azufra. Maybe I misjudged you, brat. Uh, what? You killed Azufra? No! <gasps> You're coming with us. Let's go. God. Well done, kid. I didn't think you had it in you. Guess I was wrong. Yeah. It, it wasn't me! Yeah? There wasn't anyone else there, so who are you gonna be? Oh, on? upset dog. It was the Empress and Kari Hudo. Lies. You were the only one who could have. I swear it! The Empress said something about the Millennium Rock. Then Kari Hudo killed him. And they both disappeared. <laughs> That's rich, well. Any other invisible friends involved, or just those two? Wait, the Millennium Rock? Are you sure? Could she be headed to the cathedral? You think she's telling the truth? Well, time girl. You can see the future, right? What is the future of our city? I'm sorry, but the truth is, it's 
mostly destroyed. But this isn't the first time I've seen something like that. We might be able to change the future for the better. We've done it before. I'm sure we can do it again. I'm not so sure that will always be the case, Crispel. Be careful what you promise. Enough. Lao, tell us. Does she lie? I... believe her, Princess. She speaks truly. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Give them the seal. Yes, Princess. What are you doing, Volcano? Are you insane? Shut up, Galley. I've made my decision. Oh. Oh, puppy. Come here. Hi. That's a good girl. Good dog. Okay. Here it is. <sighs> wow, a seal. Also, this seal is kept only by the royalty of the kingdom. It opens a passage in the middle of town, right under where Azufra statue currently stands. There you'll find a path that leads to the cathedral. Cool. Why are you suddenly being so helpful? This is the longest you've ever gone without trying to murder us. Enough talk, boy. We looked in on all the Cinderians we gave the medicine to. Almost half of them are gone. Turned feral like so many others. We just never recognized the pattern. Yeah. How can we have been so blind? Because you're an idiot. No longer, my sister. Starting today, we no longer work for the Empress. We're going to put all our resources into manufacturing Arola's new medicine. <sighs> you, however, should head to the cathedral. Whatever the Empress and her servants are up to, it must be stopped. We'll head out right now! Wait. Crispell, is it? Y yes Nothing. Just... Be sure to come back. We'll go now. Thank you, Volcano. Mom. Dad. Don't leave us alone. Calm down, Gally. But Mom and Dad. They're good. Yep. Don't worry about them. They're just resting. Resting. <laughs> Shut up, Volcano. I know what happened. I'm not stupid. You're pretty stupid. I'm sorry. That was insensitive of me. That's true. I hate that Azufra. If it wasn't for him and his stupid revolution, Mom and Dad would still be... Gally. I know. I know. Come on. I'm gonna visit their grave later and bring this. Your doll? Yes. The one Mom made for me. Oh my I gosh. I want to have it so that they never forget us. I am mean to them. Maybe because they're murderers. Oh, Gally. You know they would never forget us. Gally in particular. I understand. We'll go there tomorrow. And you can leave the doll at the grave. Thank you. And Volcano? Yes? Promise me you'll never leave me alone. Of course, Gally. I promise. I should return to the present. The Volcano sisters. They lost their family in the revolution. Yeah. What? Yes. I figured as much. They were the previous rulers. So when Azufra became the new leader of the city... Yes, we put this all together, right? I'd like to learn more about what happened. Come on, everyone. Let's go to the cemetery.
Hmm. Alright, well, let's go to the cemetery. so frustrating having to cross the entire town at this pace. Pretty bad. Sh Maybe there's something I can do about that. Mate of course not. Here we are now. Thank you, Matthias. Are you planning it? I'd like to give it back to Galley, but let's go talk to Miss Fenia. She was with Azufra during the revolution. Maybe she can tell us some of the history. Hi, Fenny. I guess you probably wouldn't want to talk much right now, huh? Zaz, what are you doing here? Miss Fenia, I know you recently lost your husband, and I understand you're grieving. This might be hard, but I was hoping we could ask you some questions about the revolution. This really isn't the best time. Wait, where did you get that? Miss Fenia, do you recognize this doll? It was Galley's. Her mother made it. Can you imagine a queen taking stitching lessons? Igna asked me to teach her in secret. She really wanted to make it herself. What happened to her? She and Foran were both executed. Publicly hung by the crowd. Man, this revolution. game's dark. It was hard to watch. Her last words were... Tell my daughters I love them. And did you? No. I mean, it's not like she was talking to me specifically. Besides, I could never face them. I've always regretted the way it happened. Igna and Foran loved their people. Their daughters deserved better. Miss Fenia, I think you should tell them that yourself. I can't. I mean, I'm not. Are you just trying to drive the knife deeper? To make me suffer more? I believe Crispell's intention is to metaphorically close the wounds that were opened a long time ago. That's right, Kay. With Azufra gone, Cinder is divided. Fenia and the Volcano Sisters will have to work together if they want to lead the city effectively. Miss Fenia, I know this is hard, but I can tell from your voice that you're also full of regret. Come with us and speak with Galley. Tell her about her parents. Say the words that have been eating away at you. Tell her you're sorry. I... Please, Miss Fenia. I... I'll try, Crispa. Okay. To the mansion. All the way back across town. Finish this side quest.
What do you want? And why is she here? We found this. This is... How did you get this? And why is it so... I'm sorry, Gally. I know what this means to you. Yeah, that you desecrated the gravesite of her parents, Chris Bell. Yeah? And what do you know about it? You are treading on dangerous ground here, girl. Please, just hear me out. I used my powers to restore it. I know it's a memento from your mother. And how exactly do you know that? By spying on you. Miss Fenia about it. And I think she has something to say to you both. Gally. Volcano. Huh. I've never had the courage to talk to you about this. I... I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. And I wanted to tell you... about your mother's last words. I was there when she was... well... Killed? By a violent mob? What did she say, Finia? Her last words were... Tell my daughters I love them. I've wanted to fulfill that request for so long, but I never could. I'm sorry. She loved all three of you so much. Igna was my friend. We got into a lot of trouble together growing up. And your father, Foran, too. I was hoping you would let me tell you about them. I can't really imagine mom getting into mischief like that. I know, I know. She didn't seem like the type at all, did she? But this one time, we... Time to leave. Well, this was certainly unexpected. I'm not sure why you went to all this trouble, girl. But... Thank you. I think Gally needed this. Unfortunately, I don't have much way to return the gesture. It's okay, Miss Volcano. I just wanted to help. With that said, here, take this. Machinery book? What a strange book. There aren't many languages I don't recognize, but this is definitely one. It tells the history of our kingdom, Cinder. But none of us can read it either. It's supposed to be very important somehow, but none of us can do anything with it. You all mess around with time. Maybe you'll find a way to make sense of it. Maybe it will prove helpful. Miss Volcano. Now get out of our sight. Thanks, Crispa. You're welcome. Okay, uh, quest log. Oh. Show the strange book to Nassar. All right, let's go on another long dang hike. <sighs> Nassar doesn't like us. He thinks we're thieves. Let's move the statue. There. All right. That's done. It's just as Lao said. We are heading into the unknown. We should ensure we are adequately prepared. One moment. We'll, we'll deal with it in a second. I want to Let's save. We're going to go see Nassar. But before we do that, I'm going to take a short break. Uh, so why don't you all take a break, get some water, use the bathroom, whatever, and I'll see you in a bit. Seems like you can use- Sure. Do you want to land? Yes.
Seems like you can use the sh Sure. Do you want to land here? Yes. Should we take the elevator? The thieves are back once more. To what do I owe this displeasure? Hello, Miss Nassar. Do you think you could translate this book for us? Why would I? Wait. That book. These designs. I do understand them. But why would I help you? And you. You should be ashamed you can't translate them. Our creator would be disappointed. Do you know who created me do i that's strange i do not it matters not for now this book just described an old system installed beneath the city and how to activate it here i will transfer the knowledge into your memory banks to understand this now it describes how to activate a lava drainage system thanks for the help miss nassar and for not you know killing us that was the best part be gone now little thieves i might not be so indulgent in the future but you witness take this i guess that's the end of that yes well young mages we better get back to the task at hand Seems like you can use... Sure. Do you want to land here, Chris? Yes. Shall we make a record? I want to record. This place looks fair. Let's go. What 
is this place? These tunnels are ancient and familiar. They were built by the people who built me. Who was that? Do you remember them? No. The memories are fragmented, obscured. All I remember clearly is the order my creators gave me. Everything else about them has... faded. How unfortunate. Still, we must press on. Well, let's keep an eye out as we go through. Maybe we'll find some clues. Chris Bell, what do you want to do? I want to re... Wait a second. Is that lava flowing through the ceiling? Whoa, that is so cool. Look how it flows and glows. Amazing. I wonder if I could use some to make a lamp for my room. I've studied ruins like these in the past. Their technology makes extensive use of natural resources. It's fiendishly clever. What do you think it's for? If I may, judging by the composition of the channels, I suspect they are providing geothermal energy. The further we come down here, the more questions I have about this place. What's this doohickey? Or is it a thingamajig? Might be a what's it. Can't keep all these technological terms straight. It is a command console. This one appears to be broken, but they are generally used to control remote mechanisms. The flow of molten lava, for example. Oh! Should I press this button? Let's try. The console is active right now. 
Let's try it. Oh, should I press this button? Let's try it. The console is active. Let's try it. Any luck? I am not magic. That said, yes. It is done. Restrict. Yeah, lava flow. What? You guys are all so serious. Chris Bell, what do you want to? I want to re.
This place looks... Let's go. Bell, what do you want to? I want to. Re You again! Why? Why are you always in my way? Stop, Kari! Hasn't there already been enough death? That's the difference between us, Saz. You could always let things go, forgive and forget. Not me, though. I'll never forget! Doesn't matter who gets in my way. Prepare yourself, sister.
And I was muted that whole time. <sighs> I'm really good at this, as you can tell. I mean, the only thing of importance that I said there is the only difficult part about that fight was how much HP she had. It just meant it takes time. Like, she barely attacked us at all. So... Meh. Meh. You win. But it doesn't matter. It's already too late. What do you think she means? I'm not sure. Let's head inside the cathedral and see what we can find. Wait, Crisbell. This seems dangerous. Are you sure you did everything you had to do? I am. I'm ready. It happened again, didn't it, Chris Bell? The cathedral awoke something deep within you. Yes, I... What are we getting this time? Oh, it has a certain beauty that's quite captivating, doesn't it? Well, my ride has arrived. Perhaps we'll meet again in Christophs. See you soon. I mean, cool. Thank goodness for Polina's shoe. We barely made it back to town. The shoe? Thank goodness for Crispell. If she hadn't stopped time, that lava wave would have buried us all. Regarding the lava wave, it appears to have resumed its motion. It is currently headed towards the town. What? What is going on here? Oh, you're all dead. Svenia, I know this is going to sound hard to believe, but the Millennium Rock, it was actually a giant egg. Wait, listen. The Empress used the Millennium Flower on it, and it hatched. It broke apart, and a real-life dragon came out of it. Ha! I told you that rock looked strange. Ah, the Master Detective returned. Hey, Wilhelm, he was right. The falling pieces caused a huge magma wave. And it's coming right for us. Everyone in Cinder and Sinisa is in danger. What? We have to start evacuating people. Galley, stay here in Cinder. I'll head to Sinisa. There's no time for more explanations. What should we do, Crispell? We need to make a decision now. Hey, we use the levees and open the valves. Use the levees and open the valves. It'll all be fine. Here's the mechanism to raise the levees. I hope this works. Everyone, run! This won't be enough by itself. The drain valves, down in the ruins. We have to open them and lower the lava level, quickly! The... What? No time to explain. And I doubt you'd understand. Get everyone out that you can. Go! Leave it to us. 
We'll get us it even at my maximum speed. There is not sufficient time to travel to the rooms and open the drain valves. I'll stop time again. It's the only way. Again? Are you sure doing that time stopping thingy so much is healthy? I mean, I love donuts like a lot, but even I know. Crispel, are you insane? It's too much. Trying to wield that kind of power could kill you. Maestro, I have to do this. If I can't help these people, what good are my powers? Correct. Crispel, don't worry about me. You guys are wasting time when she could have already stopped time. No good at all if you're dead. Yet, you're right. You can do this, Crispel. Kay and I will activate the drain valves. Be careful. Uh, you'll be frozen in time. It will take a few minutes for me to interface with the systems. It is done. The valves have been opened. Finally! The lava is starting to move again. We need to go back and find Crispell. Quickly! We need to go back and look for Crispell. You literally just said that. I disagree. Based on my observations, Crispell would insist we ensure the safety of the citizens before returning to assist her. Idiot machine. After all she's done? Damn your mechanized logic. Fine. Let's get back to Cinder. Quickly. If only I could. If only you could... What? Help? Nah. It's been proven that you're not really helpful. Alright, that was me. Oh, look. Everything flooded. Oh, we made it! We're not dead! Another win for the good guys! Wait a minute. Where's Chris Bell? She's fine. Has anyone seen her? Not since she went to slow down the lava wave. Stupid girl. She probably feels responsible for all of this. We have to find her. What are you going to do? Dude. Come on, all of you. You have to move. The lava wave is coming. Volcano, we have to go. If we stay any longer. <coughs> We're... <coughs> I'm sorry, Princess. We're not strong enough. I healed everyone. Us, please. <sighs> we were cold. Oh, hell, I'm leaving you here. You're coming with me if I have to carry you all out on my back. Like, I seriously do call shenanigans. Crispell anywhere. Don't worry about it. That's fine. Lava drains. And none of that stuff would have melted. The lava seems to be going down. We have to go and look for her. Sure. Sleep? She's exhausted. Let her be. She can sleep in the mansion. 
we would be uh, honored to have her as a guest. Excuse me, I just saved your life multiple times and all of your people. You could actually say it like you mean it. Ungrateful. With that dragon at her command, it's only a matter of time until Crystallis falls. The war is about to be over. So, what do we do? We have to stop her. There's no more time. Oh boy. We have to head to Crystallis and defeat her before it's too late. Well, that sounds like fun. So, I'm coming with you. Cool. I mean, my sister is wrapped up in all of this. I might as well be too. Just not in such an evil, stabby, murdery way, you know? Sure. Sure. Uh, I mean, happy to have you. To be honest, we can use all the help we can get. Crystallis is not far. Steer your hearts, young warriors. Okay. Thank you. There's no time to rest, though. I have to work on all of our work. Creating this medicine is worthless if we can't stop the disease at its source. Thank the lady the evacuation went smoothly. And thank you as well, Chris Bell. We will meet again. Perhaps sooner than you might imagine. May the lady watch over you. Thanks, I guess, for saving my sister. Cool. Don't let it go to your head. Oh, jeez. Volcano, I, I'm sorry I couldn't save the city. I wish I could have done more. No, you did more than anyone could have hoped. You saved the most important things in the city. Good luck with the Empress. You're going to need it. Not gonna help, though. Cool, thanks. So glad I could help. Oh no. Jelly is good. Sure. Man, everything is just kind of screwed up. I had a feeling calamity was going to occur. Welcome. It's only two. That would be great. At your. I mean, I think I was already healed, right? I probably didn't need to do this. Oh well. Welcome, welcome. We have the Like, was that not what was supposed to happen? I'm so confused now.
apparently this is in fact the best outcome. Which is a little disappointing. But it looks like they're rebuilding in the future at least. I can't believe Your beloved leader was a jerk. Who was gonna let people die so that he could maintain power. And if that sounds familiar to you. Tragedy and Cinder. Another trap. Okay. Kim doesn't actually have anything to say. Well then. she wants to do we will miss Fenia I promise good good another tragedy befalls the kingdom our homes our loved ones it's just awful it was scary but mom said I should not worry we're going to be all right our home I can't believe Well Ms. Paulina I guess let's save Ooh over there. I had to move out of the way when I saw a wave of molten lava coming towards me. And don't make me start on that giant flying lizard. I'm sorry, Paulina, but it's time for us to go save the world. <laughs> Such big plans. Sounds like you're finally getting serious. How can I help? Guys, I realize I'm new and all, but that giant lady is speaking. And where's her other shoe? Paulina, we could use your assistance in getting to Crystallis. The Empress has a new pet dragon. The city won't last for long. Oh my, that sounds dreadful. Also, she has a giant bow on her head. Has anyone else seen this? Should I be worried? I love your new companion's fashion sense. The whole one leg covered thing is very trendy. All right, my little friends, I'll take you there. Anything is better than this heat. No comment on what we did to your shoe. I had not seen a dragon in over a thousand years. I believe them to be extinct. A thousand years? How old are you? I am 3,721 years old as of yesterday. Yesterday? So, happy birthday! Thank you, but please do not tell the others. I would rather avoid any potential singing. Of all human habits, spontaneous singing is one of the worst. <laughs> What's it like to be 3,000 years old? It is life. That is all. I have nothing else with which to compare it. Still, in all that time, the things you must have seen, must have learned. Perhaps. Yet in over three millennia, I have not answered the most important question. Why am I here? 
What is my purpose? As much as I have seen, I am no closer to understanding that than I was 3,000 years ago. You're called a witness. Literally, you do it. That said, there is one thing I can say for certain. In these past few weeks, since I have met all of you, I have done more living than in the entire thousand years prior. But not the uh, previous 2,000 years to that. Partied very hard. It's been a long time since I was in Crystallis. I suspect, unfortunately, it is now a city under siege. So many innocent lives at risk. This is even worse than last time. Last time? Never mind. There are people we need to protect. That's all. I thought I could help the people of Cinder, but I couldn't even save the city. How can I hope to save Crystallis? Or to stop the cataclysm? Remember your lessons. Even as time mages, there are limits on what we can accomplish. I'm not sure we can defeat the Empress either. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. It's not about only fighting the battles we are certain we're going to win. It's about recognizing that your powers alone can't always solve everything. In Cinder, your power wasn't enough to save the city itself. How could it be? But we all pitched in and helped. And people are alive today because of it. Remember, Crispel, you're not alone. My dad tried to talk me out of leaving St. Clarity. He said I had no idea what I was getting myself into. You know? After all this time, I finally decided he was right. Do you regret it? Coming on this adventure with me, I mean? What? No, of course not. That's not what I mean. It's just... The world is so big, you know? There's so much more to it than I realized. All the anger, all the hate I felt over my brother. Now, I mean, the Time Empress did still kill him. Know. It somehow seemed so small compared to everything else we've seen. That must sound stupid. No. It sounds to me like you've grown up a lot. Never. I'm still a kid at heart. But maybe my focus has shifted. Maybe. I don't think it's about revenge anymore. It's more like... I want to make sure a bunch of other kids don't wind up like me. You know? I do. I can't believe she finally did it. Kari finally killed Azufra. I feel so... angry! And sad. Also sleepy. Oh, I get that. It sounds strange to ask, but do you think it worked? Do you think she's happy now? No. Ugh, I hate all these complicated thoughts. And maybe I'm hungry, not sleepy. Zaz. Keep it together, Zaz. You're the happy one. People like the happy one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Maybe a little hungry, tired. There should be a word for that. Thanks for checking in, Chris Bell. Don't worry about old Zaz, though. I'm a little worried. You might need therapy. I'm doing just fine. That's a very brave face. I'm doing just fine. Yeah. Why not get some sleep? We will be in Crystallis by morning. Not right now. Paulina. One last trip. Onwards to Crystallis. I hope my clothes don't get messy. Why not get some sleep? Sleepy times. Alright. Onward to Crystallis. I love traveling by giant statue. It's the best. More video games to travel by giant statue. This is it. Crystallis. Are you okay, Crystal? To be honest, no. I'm a little scared. Fair. I've seen what the Empress is capable of. 
I fear what she might do. Crispell. Don't worry, Crispell. We'll be right there with you. Yeah, we'll be right by your side. I am not one to display affection. That said, even I agree with this sentiment. Thank you. All of you. I'm happy you'll all be with me at the end. I mean, I'm sure we'll be fine. Come. Let's head out, everyone. Crystallis needs us. And you, Crispell, need to work on your inspirational speeches. This seems bad, my dear. There's a great deal of smoke coming from Crystallis. Well, we'll deal with that next time. For now, I mean, let's not go into anything, but let's wander around the beach real quick. Look, there's... I don't, I don't think there's anything else here for us. Oh, there's this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any treasure hiding on the beach? No? Okay. So, next time. Next time. We will continue with our adventure in Crystallis. Um, thanks for hanging out. If you missed anything, uh, the YouTube recording will go up later. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Bye.